is is a very bad review for snug pack. When people say that, you know, once in a while, you know, something happens, you kind of shit out of luck with the products that you buy. Well, I bought the whole thing. This is a review for The Cave, Snug Packs The Cave. I keep it really, really simple. I am pissed the fuck off. The outer skin is not conducent with the size of the tent. And it would have been nice if they would have done quality control. Anyhow, all the mesh is basically touching the outer skin and it's not supposed to be and because it's touching the outer skin all of the mesh all the water is perforating through and the condensation that's coming through along with the rain you have to understand that part it's not just the condensation it's the rain um, basically is trailing off little snail trails right here little snail trails up on the top all, all of all the mesh apparently is touching the outer skin and so it's trailing off and as a result let me get my flashlight here as a result puddles there's the puddles you can see that man this thing is not really helping here you can get the puddles here see the puddle right there basically I used a, a shirt to dry it up but there are a whole bunch of fucking puddles on the floor in here. And basically the water is coming down from the inside. And it's doing what water would naturally want to do. It's just following the guidelines of where the gravity goes. Anyhow, um, <coughs> the other point of reference is that up on top here, there's a ring, or was... And I put a, a watch battery um, LED little dinky thing up on that little ring and it fell. I was like, what the hey? Anyway, if you look, right up in here where the seams are, you can see the holes in there. Anyway, there's a lot of these strings that aren't like tied in here. Let me point my finger here so I go. I'll get it right. Yeah, there's one there. Yeah, a little string right there. There's a bunch of those that are just basically when the water finds them, they basically are like apparently um, if you were to um, use a candle the water is basically dripping from those um, but a real subtlety is the snail trails going off after it's pulled against the, the tent and the top it basically is just snail trailing down and ends up on the ground and 
that is not the only issue it gets better sorry it gets worse um, yeah here's another one this little trilly there's my finger this little guy right over here see this little thingy you see that anyway material isn't conducive but basically here's another thing now I plan to set this thing up and give it about a week to see how she was gonna do now I'm in the Northwest we get a lot of rain and sometimes we even get snow but here in the US I thought it would be a good choice because it's supposed to be a four season tent that's what it's rated at you know the cave four season snug pack tent well when I guided it out if you notice <laughs> if you notice that it is bowed it's bowed here it's like bowed anyway this is all guided out it's all guided out it's got the snug pack stakes out and which means that this whole material should be at a slope like that and it's not it's going like this and then it just gradually goes out and I didn't think much about it because it was fucking raining anyway I got the other side I guided that out and I thought well okay maybe the other side will will, will uh, taunt it you know pull it so it's it's like it, it'll it'll pull the excess over and it would slope out like that it didn't and uh, yeah it's 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 a mess I got water underneath I woke up with my whole ass in all saturated and yes it even leaked through these guys here uh, a selfie 15 discovery leaked through this and uh, anyway I I was like well what the hey man well because I'm in a awkward situation um, I was basically just testing out the snug pack cave tent and the sleeping bags and when I woke up and I realized oh crap um, I got out my military um, US military basically it's um, keeps you your gear dry um, I put that over the top of it and because I'm in a catch-22 I can't really do a fucking thing about what's going on and it's too inconvenient to just say the hell with it roll it all up you know I've got to pretty much wait and uh, anyway um, yeah it really sucks because I, I had spent a lot of money and I got the the tent snug by snug pack the cave and I was listening to fruitcake sergeant fruitcake saying oh hey uh, try the bunker you know hey try the scorpion one scorpion two and uh, then I saw the the larger one the cave and I thought well if those are really really nice and if they're working but then I'm just gonna get the larger one and then if there is company um, it would be pretty nice to have um, it's really heavy in its all contained status uh, so it's not exactly something that you want to you know lug on your back for a very very long because with the snug pack cave tent and the bedroll and your cooking kit and everything else 
Um, I mean, you talk about food and everything else. This is what I I got here, and uh, basically, um, all, all of not really doing justice here, but um, got the coffees because I didn't really want to have to do the um, do the camp like break out my camping fire and stove and all that other stuff. I thought I would just do a review um, and hopefully it would be a good one. I thought I would give it about a week. Uh, so I picked up some of the coffees. These little guys here. Uh, I'm not pushing a commercial but I just thought hey you know cold coffee um, why cook it you know if it's already pre and it tastes like cereal anyway anyway um, so I, I got some some food and I got my bedroll and which is saturated uh, my clothes are saturated and basically um, yeah it's like it really sucks I mean I I, I I listen to variations on the YouTube and you know what kind of gear is good and anyway here's the thing I have been houseless since 1964 and it's no uh, small uh, detail but basically um, I don't do dope I don't drink I've been houseless since 1964 and it's not for the lack of trying to get into a place it's not for for any of my own uh, preferences or causes or any of that um, the system basically was trying to put a road through the very property that my people owned and when they bought property and progressed to get more property uh, the city came back and said we want to buy property back from you and uh, as it unfolded um, they did agree to sell three pars parchments back and when it got to the fourth uh, it was really clear and the word was no I'm not selling no more property back to you um, basically my people um, grew up uh, with motorcycles clubhouse the whole bit and the end result is that at uh, that last encounter I was five years old and I remember hearing the conversation and as a result uh, about two three in the morning there was tear gas that was came through the windows there was about eight children that were killed there was about 24 people adults that were killed and basically when the smoke cleared uh, after they made the raid they basically took anybody school age and put us all into the system which is called foster care anyway when I asked one question now you have to bear in mind I am five years old and I asked one question when will my mom come visit me and I got a backhand and it got worse from there. I ended up getting a steel toe boot, broken rib, and I said, These are not my people. If I'm a color grand, color me gone. Um, but yeah, see the snail trails? It's like sticking onto the, the mesh, and then it just kind of falls its way, you know, doing the gravity thing. Anyway, um, the end result with it all is that I ran away and I managed to maintain till I was six years old and after I got a broken rib by a steel toe boot I said I'm out of here I'm color crayon color me gone 
Anyway, I went and climbed onto a box car. Uh, I fell out of it and I ended up getting up on a grain car. And as I climbed up on the grain car ladder, I found out that there was a couple of holes. Once you got inside of the one hole, you could go to the left or the right. And I got in there and I passed out and I woke up in South Dakota. Um, anyway, I've been coast to coast 137 times before I was 13 years old. And I, I have tried to assist people along the way. I've helped out with Dignity Village in Portland, Oregon. Uh, helped out with R2D2, Right to Dream 2 in Portland, Oregon. Um, if you want to check that out, um, just type uh, out of the doorways Dignity Village. Um, basically, trying to assist houseless people and anyway the police would send their dogs to wake up people and the dogs would attack literally and they would use their nightsticks and hit the people I can attest to that I was a part of that experience um, anyway we took them to court and the city of Portland um, lost the case and we won anyway I'm part of uh, uh, just one individual who was able to uh, get the homeless bill of rights uh, started um, I've never wanted to be the limelight or uh, the poster child like Gerber's but basically um, Across the country of the U.S., I've helped nine different places start from the ground up, and um, most of the human beings that come around to help out, I like to think that at least God's moving the people, and and the right people arrive to assist. Anyway, um, I pick up aluminum cans, and I used to pick up bottles. You know, like beer, cans, bottles, but I stopped wanting to smell like a brewery. And so now all I do is pick up aluminum cans, soda pops. Um, that's it. Just soda pop cans, soda pop bottles, maybe. Um, but mainly just cans. And I recycle them. Um, anyway, that's how I ended up being able to procure, to purchase this whole set of snug pack. And um, the really sad part is that um, I, I can't just say, oh, well, I'm going to send it back and uh, get money back. Because companies don't do that. They will not send any money back. They'll say, oh, sorry about your problem. Uh, oops. You know, at least that's my experience. You know, they're not interested in, you know, giving money away. They're interested in making it. And um, anyway, with this one, um, just for reference, this did not go through quality control. Uh, it's all guided out out there. It's all guided out. And when I got on the other side, it's raining. I mean, like coming down on cats and dogs. And I guided that one out. And I assumed that all of this would be pulled over the top and that the the excess would be stout and it would be at an angle like that it's not there's so much material that it basically goes up like this and literally it's sitting right next to the to the door um, you can't really tell but here here it's really stout and then here it's shrunk it's like sagging all of this is sagging inwards and see the excess all of that shouldn't even be there all that should be taut and as a result the excess is slagging and it's doing this over the top of this whole damn tent 
and it's I mean it's pretty evident to me you know what the hell is going on with this this is a very bad review um, but they're basically they're just pulling and as it's pulling on the top the water is going down to the very bottom and that really sucks because when you wake up and you've got a wet fucking puddle down here see over here it's dry and right in there it's totally saturated and anyway um yeah i'm i'm not a happy avid customer but if you can look this whole section see how, how it's it's kind of rippled all of that should be taunt and shouldn't even be i mean look at this i can't even convey what the hell is going on here right but all up here all of this should be as far away as that is up there where's my finger see how, how it should see it's 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 rippled there should be no excess there shouldn't be no no crinkly no nothing it should be all stout and it's not same thing on that side should be like, there shouldn't be any, any sagging at all, and you can see, you know, you can see here, see how it's sagging, that's on the outside, you know, this is a mesh here, there's a, just a giant, 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 you know, I mean, what, there's a leaf right there, you know, and there's another one over there, you know, and you can't tell me a leaf is going to pull all that water in. I mean, maybe it can, but anyway, there's so much material on the outside of this, and there, see here, this little string, there's tons of those, and basically the water is following the strings and it's dropping back into the bottom so it's like having a candle you know here's another one in my finger this is right see this guy here I know it's kind of cheesy but it's the truth and anyway all, all of all of that uh, is basically excess and basically just to highlight when I set it when I set the snug tent snug pack tent up um, it had excess and I didn't think much about it because I just thought well I'll get this side hooked in and then I'll go the other side I'll pull the excess over clip it in you know and it should be taunt and it's not this whole section is like gradually coming up to the bottom and then it's going up and over and it's dropping here and all of this I mean you, you can pretty much you know get an idea of the crinkly see the crinkly all of that, all of that should be taunt. So this is a very bad review of Snug Pack. Um, I saved a lot of money. I think probably it took me about three years just to save up enough. And this is what happened when I finally got my Snug Pack tent. And here's some more water. You see that? I'm pushing up on it now, but I wasn't at all. Um, but
but basically it's 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 sticking and when it sticks the condensation and the water is making its way and then it does a snail trail anyway um, I basically save three years and I pick up aluminum cans and what I got is the worst the worst investment that I have ever experienced and I think it sucks and I I just want to say um, this particular snug pack cave tent did not go through quality control it ended up with a larger top uh, that did not match with the tent and um, this is basically um, basically it's like a place where the water to saturate but all of the water that was coming down ended up coming down the sides of the tent and as a result I woke up and the sleeping bag, the snug pack, the sleeping bag, uh, this one was totally saturated and my back, my lower legs were totally saturated um, and I had this and I had to get it out of my gear. Um, because at the time I, it wasn't as cold and you know I mean if it's gonna rain yay um, but I thought I wouldn't use this because I wanted to see how the sleeping bag holds up just as it is and then when I woke up and I realized oh crap uh, now I'm in a hurting for certain the only option I had was to break this out and put the bedroll inside and zip it up. And there's this Cordura and basically it stops the water going through. Um, military issue. Um, anyway, um, so I woke up freezing my ass off the first time and then of course after you know your your temp in this sleeping bag out of liner um, allocates and you start to get warm up uh, you know you realize that you're wet but um, anyway come daylight I'm sitting here and I'm going oh crap I got all this water on the floor and uh, it just now started to stop raining um, so anyway, um, this is a very bad review. Um, my name is David Allen Walsh, and this is Elite Hobo, and I'm gonna put this on YouTube. Um, and I just want to say, save yourself some money, because uh, unlike a lot of people uh, who can actually afford it, um, it took me three years to save for this. That was the tent, and I've got uh, three of the uh, these guys here. Um, the the whole system. I got this one, and then I got the two liners. You know, for the winter both Anyway, I didn't bring those. I just wanted to try one out at a time, and this is supposed to be the the heavier of the two or the three. Um, anyway, um, this really sucks. Um, I'm in the Portland, Oregon area, and um, <clears throat> apparently all I got out of all of this experiences is um, I have a, a top of a tent that I can probably repurpose 
buy a different tent and put the um, the top of the tent over you know as long as I string it out and, and it's taunt it should pretty much keep the next tent I'm going to end up with um, but the way it sits it, it's it never should have gone through quality control um, this this is I don't know how they rated it to be a pass anyway this really sucks and um, wow three years I saved for this and this is what the end result is so this isn't like just a bad one-off this is a seriously bad um, it shouldn't even made it into the shipping department quality control really needs to be looking at what the hell they're doing over there um, but basically on a scale of one to eight the roof uh, is about two and a half times the length of the snug pack cave tent and it is taunt on that end it's clicked in it's pulled down as far as it will go and when I pulled it all the way over it clicked in clicked in and um, got the snug pack uh, stakes out and put them all in all of this should have been taunt and tight and it's got um, excess putting up my only and it's going down the door and then gradually going out about where the rain box down there is gradually going out um, but there's too much material and it basically is allowing the water to go on the top and trail down so this is a waste <clears throat> so this is a very bad review and I don't think anybody's even going to give a hell or give a hoot or give a care. But if you by chance see this, um, do not buy snug pack tents. I'm going to say plural because if this is what happens with, with their flagship uh, or, you know, their main uh, four season uh, snug pack tent, the cave. Um, I don't know what the others would be doing as far as the Scorpion 1, 2, and the Bunker. Um, but I was kind of hoping that it would be good for go. And, and right now, um, all I can do is repurpose and take the top uh, and basically use it like a glorified tarp. Um, and string it off of stuff um, because apparently it, it from the looks of it it looks like the top will keep the rain uh, from coming in if it wasn't hitting or touching anything up on top so basically the it's a wash it, it's 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 a wash it sucks I spent a lot of money, saved a lot of aluminum cans, soda pop bottles, three years, and this is what I got. And that sucks. Snug pack, if you by chance ever get a chance to actually come across this video, um, I'm going to say nicely, fire the people in quality control. Um, I've got a, one photo of this this where, where's my hands um, hold on of this this tag the barcode um, I've got one photo of the barcode that I'll try to put in the um, uh, the clip where, where, where you can put um, a snippet or a photo um, but basically um, the 
people at the Snug Pack place. Um, listen, there's a lot of people buying your materials, and if this is just one that got through quality control, maybe it's not so bad for you guys, but if this is a standard where nobody's looking and go ahead and just press it out, um, a whole bunch of people are going to be as unhappy as I am. And I don't know if they're going to, you know, get any money back or not. Um, I don't plan on getting anything back because that isn't how business works. And I can't afford to send the damn thing back because it took me three years to save for it. And that really sucks. So all I can do is repurpose the top and basically guide it out and be able to use it like a, a glorified tarp. Um, but yeah, all, all of, all, I mean, look at this. This should be taunt and it's not. You know, that's the mesh. You know, that's kind of what I'm saying. It's like, you can tell something's wrong with this. And, I mean, it's pretty evident that I'm unhappy with it. Uh, but I've got some obvious reasons why I am. Anyway, um, this is Elite Hobo. Do not, I repeat, do not buy Snug Pack, period. Whether it's Snug Pack the Cave, whether it's uh, uh, Scorpion 1, Scorpion 2, the Bunker, um, I would say stay the fuck away from them. Because if you're just doing this just for a couple of days, yada, 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 go hunting, yada, 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 you know, it might not be such a, a you know, bad outcome. But me, I've been on the street since 1964, and the outcome is pretty dire. And I just found out that I wasted a lot of money on an investment that I was hoping would hold up for a while. Um, but other than the reality that it's a lot of weight to have to haul around, um, and even when I realized how heavy it is, I was still kind of trying to give it a pass um, because my thought was, hey, it's going to be a you know nice dry place. Um, you know, they they say it's a four season, which means rain and snow, and so with the bedding, the tent, the snug pack tent, uh, the food. Um, the basics uh, all of a sudden the weight um, is the allocational that was a factor and, and now um, apparently it's not going to weight much because all I'm able to do now is take the top of this tarp you know I'm going to call it a tarp now um, but the top of the tent and I'll just guide it out, you know, hook it onto things, and you know, at least it'll keep the, the rain. Um, but I'm just so pissed off, it's not even funny. I just wasted, I mean, three years, people. Three fucking years I saved aluminum cans and I recycled. And this is what I got I got a glorified tarp and it's now the sun's starting to cut through some of the clouds so I'm going to end up taking this thing down um, I mean this will keep the rain out this Cordera this will keep the rain but I gotta go dry the bedroll you know if I want to sleep in it I gotta go dry this thing in, in a laundry department um, which means I have to wash it and anyway um, but this uh, was what I was using before the snug pack tent the cave and it's 
teaching drawing. Um, so basically, this is from the northwest U.S. Portland, Oregon area. Um, do not, I repeat, do not purchase, buy, do not buy Snug Pack, the cave, the tent they called the cave, but Snug Pack. It says it's made from China, uh, but it's based out of the UK. Um, this is a bad review. So with that in mind, the hours are long, the pay is not that great, they hardly pay attention, but when they do, the benefits far exceed any expectations that we have for them or they have for themselves. How do we know this? The proof is in the pudding. If for some reason, if somebody happens to check this video out and says, wow, man, that really sucks. Let me see if I can lend a hand. Um, I would gladly take any, any alternatives. Um, Basically, um, if you know where Sisters of the Road Cafe, downtown Portland, Oregon, sometimes I'll go in there. Um, um, it, it just, it just really, really bites. So that's the review on the Snug Pack tent called the Cave. And uh, Sergeant Fruitcake, um, they may have made you the spokesman, but um, I think uh, you should probably distance yourself from Snug Pack, period.